Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm insecure because my neighbors can hear me and I don't like that. Today's video, we are going to be fixing this. I went to Home Depot. I spent way too much money on flowers, as you can see here. But all these weeds need to get pulled up. And this trash needs to get taken out. The porch needs to get swept. We have a lot to do and I wanna try and get it done before it's completely dark outside. We're definitely not gonna get the lights strung back up today and that's okay. I'll probably try and do that tomorrow or Sunday, but. I have a lot to do, so I'm gonna get started on the weeds. Brendan's coming downstairs. He's going to take all of the trash down to the dump and then start sweeping. So, let's do this thing. All right, so I had to definitely get my gardening gloves on because I was pulling out a ton of weeds by hand and these were the worst weeds we've ever had because they had these seeds that blew off of them that were like ridiculously sticky and I ended up finding them stuck all over stuff. They were all over the patio everywhere. So while I started to pull weeds, Brendan started taking a few loads of trash down. We honestly just had so many boxes of stuff we'd had shipped that kind of just piled up because... We never ended up taking them down. So we got all of that done, which was honestly such a relief because we'd let some stuff pile up pretty bad. And I just continued to pull up and I didn't really worry too much if I'd pulled up a lot of dirt and everything only because I think last time I let too many weed systems or like root systems stay in the ground when I replanted and that's why my weeds were so bad. Um, this spring and summer so then i started placing all of my flowers all around my little plant box flower box as you see here i wanted to kind of just stick them in and see how i liked them before i planted them i loved how pretty this turned out i love the spiky guys in the back giving them some height it's so nice and then i just slowly worked my way from the right side of the box to the left side of the box planting all of the flowers it definitely was interesting trying to get some of these bigger guys out of their pots and planted into the ground but we ended up making it work somehow um although watching this back literally makes my back hurt one because my back actually was aching after this but two just seeing how hunched over <laughs> And like in these like gross hunched over positions that I'm in is just like not it. So anyways, I had to dig up a ton because this orange mum was so huge, but so gorgeous. I absolutely love how this turned out. So once I started, once I finished getting that side planted, we started bagging up all of the um, weeds that we could. I cannot believe the difference, the patio. Like you guys, this is like not gonna be recognizable after this, cause this is just like, like truly distressing to look at. Those trash bags against the back um, on the green fence right there, that's all filled with weeds and dirt and leaves and just excess crap from the, around the patio. So as Brendan continued to get all the stuff that was on the ground up, I started pulling out the weeds in the right flower box, which there were also a ton over there because my garden was so weird this year. I planted new stuff that didn't grow at all. I had stuff that wasn't successful last year, somehow regrow this year. It was like a whole fiasco, let me tell you. So I started pulling up some weeds over there also, we did have a really bad storm and our lights fell down and a bunch of them broke. So that was really unfortunate, but we did end up being able to pry some of the bulbs out and put new ones in. So uh, we did, we were able to fix those, which was really nice. So as you can see, we're just continuing to stuff bags full of weeds. I'm pulling up my bell pepper plants that did not survive my black thumb tendencies. I really want to get better at gardening, you guys. I need like a class in how to be a better gardener. I know sometimes I can be forgetful about watering, but I thought I did really good this summer, but I don't think that I ate more than 
one salad and maybe some herbs from my garden this year which is really sad anyways continuing on we did the same thing on the right hand side i just kind of laid out the pots um how i saw fit and i did them very similar but just a little bit different on this side i also didn't have my purple spiky guys i kind of wish that i ended up going back and getting some because i did go back to home depot depot to get some more stuff um but i just wanted to have some variety and i didn't want the sides to be identical so i was still really happy with how everything turned out and on this side, I instead of having white mums, I have white daisies. And daisies are some of my favorite flowers. So that was really fun. Same thing on this side. It took me a while to dig for the giant orange mums plant because that is just a big old plant right there. Brenton and I's allergies were also both absolutely killing us after this. Like we literally were so snotty and sneezy and it just was... <laughs> not good after this it was not a good time but i'm really happy with how the patio turned out so i'll take some sniffles to have such a beautiful patio to spend our fall evenings out on so then i got really close to being done i had just had these small kind of filler plants that you see here on the bottom left so brendan's just handing me those and i'm kind of placing those around just to fill in some spots um, around where it was like, you know, a little bit more empty and everything, which I'm, I'm really glad that I bought those because I feel like it just filled it out a little bit more. You just can't really tell right here. All right, you guys, that is a wrap for tonight. There is still a lot to do out here. All the cushions and furniture needs to be like moved around so that we can sweep up. And then I need to get plants for my little pots that are around. Um, and then to get some pumpkins to make it nice and fall and i also need to put the throw pillows out so we still have a bit to do out here but we're gonna call it a night because it is obviously very dark oh and we also definitely need to hang the lights back up i don't know if i said that so yeah um i will check back in with you guys tomorrow when we continue so it is definitely not the next day when you see this clip it's actually about a week later um that we ended up <laughs> finishing up so I finally convinced Brendan to go back to Home Depot one week later and I started planting these adorable little cactuses I found I needed something super small to go in these box in these flower boxes that I keep on my um table here also if you're noting that weird noticing that weird white stuff on the table it's because I put an outdoor candle to keep bugs away out there and then I left it out and the sun kept melting it. I don't know why in my head I thought that a sun, the sun wouldn't melt it, but I didn't. And it got all over my table. So anyways, I'm putting some plants in all of my different flower boxes here just to add some, you know, more beautiful foliage all around the garden. I picked up some, I think they're called crotons. My mom got them for me last year and they are such a pretty fall plant. Like they are so perfect for fall. Um, and there's a couple different versions of them so here on the bottom right you can see one of the versions that has kind of curlier leaves um and then this one that has a little bit flatter leaves so they're just gorgeous they have that orange and yellow tint to them and they're so pretty so i just planted those all in their respective little pots and then we had a lot of cleanup to do sweeping wise and everything so brendan swept while i potted plants and then I put them back in their spot. I pulled up the citronella that I had here and I replaced it. Sorry, I know you guys are just looking at my butt. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad about framing up these things, but I got this gorgeous little like mini, kind of not like a shrub. I guess you could call it a shrub. It's not a tree, but um, just this little small red and green plant that I thought would look pretty in between our chairs. Then I started styling the flowers and pumpkins all around as well as our pillows. I got these gorgeous orange and white plaid as well as little fall leaf accent pillows all from Amazon. They're actually covers and then I just ordered the inserts separate so they're perfect if you want to switch them out for different seasons and it turned out so pretty i cannot believe how pretty it looks you guys i love it so 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 much like with the lights and all the flowers and the pillows it's just exactly the perfect little fall patio
All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I officially have finished the fall patio makeover. I love it so much. It looks so much better. I'm gonna do a quick before shot so you can see what it looked like before because this seriously is like a whole new space. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Is that cooling? Yeah. Give me Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like oh, and hit that big red subscribe button down below to come hang out with me. Babe, 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 babe. What? I'm trying to film. Oh, okay, let me finish. Job's not done. Let me finish. Hit that big red subscribe button down below. Oh my gosh. What did I say? Every single video, Brendan's gonna do something noisy in the background. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're ready for more Halloween and spooky content, Come hang out with me for the rest of the spooky season and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.